this knee over here, you know, there's a brand new auction that's come to light and apparently it's the very sort of first time you're able to buy some of the scribblings of the former royal Prince Harry, taken way back in 1993 on the back of a menu while having a Christmas lunch with all senior members of the British monarchy. It's really sweet, in fact, when you do see, because clearly these are messages that have been passed back and forth between William and Harry during, some might say, a little bit of boredom in the downtime of that particular Christmas lunch. You could imagine, can't you, when you're a young kid, it could get a little bit tedious if you have to behave yourself, even at Christmas. But now Harry's got a bigger dilemma looming, this time as an adult, and this time fulfilling once again another commitment. Let me explain. Good morning, how are you? Nice to see you today, and as ever, thank you so much for your company. Yes, sorry, I'm a little bit more of a wave. You all right? Yes, you're all right, aren't you? I know. Nice to have you. Yes, I know. If you're going to bed, sleep well, yes. And if you're getting up, best of luck. I know. <laughs> Try and wake up. It's not easy, is it? When You know, particularly as we're heading towards winter over here in the United Kingdom. I don't know about you. You wake up and think, oh, it must be a lot later. And it's not, you know. It's just the fact that it's getting darker in the mornings. Never easy to contend with, is it? Now, the problem that you have, as one might suggest, with Prince Harry is this. You've had a glittering success with your tell-all book spare. There's no two ways about it. I think what's been really interesting is the fact that, of course, people forget that Harry really just sat down and dictated the book. You know, his memories, which have proved to be rather hazy, to say the least. The other problem, of course, now is, as we now know, the ghostwriter, which they allegedly paid a million pounds to, you know, ghostwrite with him, well, he wasn't exactly having an easy time. He's spoken in interviews about how Harry would call him and basically wanted to see this book as a vendetta to right the wrongs, as you can imagine. But now Penguin Random House, you see, want their next book. And yes, you can get away with updating Spare as a paperback, but there's still three more options for three more books. Now, this was part of the deal, and this is the problem with Harry and Meghan. They seemingly can deliver one thing at once. Meghan Markle, of course, delivered 12 episodes of the Archetypes podcast. And then, you know, they were hoping for at least 25 episodes, but that was the best she could do. Hence the reason they decided to call her Grifter. You can understand how that went. Now, according to a very well-placed source inside Penguin Random House, they really do want to know exactly the direction that Harry is going to be going in. Now, allegedly, and as ever we have to say that, Prince Harry seemingly sees himself as something of a crime fiction writer. You know, murder mystery thing. Apparently that's what he's got his idea on, particularly looking back into his royal history. Nothing wrong in that. But how long is that going to take? And also, they know something like this wouldn't necessarily be a big you know, sort of bookseller. It's certainly not going to be the way that Spare went. So if they have to find another ghostwriter, they're certainly not going to be spending a million pounds. You get the picture. But either way, right now, Penguin Random House are getting itchy feet, as Spotify did previously, to say, what's your plan? What you doing? And when can we expect something new? As ever with Harry and Meghan, they seem to dart off from one idea to another, never seemingly sticking at it for long. I highlight the fact that 40 times 40, never to be seen or heard of again. No update, no follow-up, nobody knew exactly what happened. Meghan filmed a video, looked nice, and then moved on. Harry, though, could find this is going to be harder if he wants version 2 of said paycheck. It's a developing story. When I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.